Yeah, so turn one has been reshaped. You can see from last year, the breaking marks that we had was, uh, were on the straight line here. It was a right left. And now we have uh, the opposite. We have a right kink before left right and left again. So it's become a more complex part of the track, which is pretty cool. I think uh, it's going to allow people to, to try some different things. It looks nice. It's nice to get some good changes to the track. Uh, it's a bit faster. If you look at it, that corner there was, uh, was, uh, was much closer to the, to the previous apex. So we are at turn uh, eight and nine. It's a big braking area just uh, at, this, at the very bottom of the track there. It's a place where you get some good speed from the previous chicane. You're saving some energy into this corner, so it's a good, great opportunity to overtake. I think the best opportunity to overtake. It's not easy because you get some sand on the inside of the corner. And uh, when you try to brake on the sand, obviously the car doesn't have the same grip. There'll be lots of action here on uh, Saturday. Well, the best line to take through here is a, is a very classic line. Uh, it's a double apex left-hander, so you have to give it some room in the middle of the, in between the two corners. But yeah, braking hard, carry as much speed as you can into the corner. Well, it's a, a tricky exit. You're pushing to try and carry as much speed as you can. You get a good front grip because the track raises slightly. Coming out of the corner, the track goes down slightly, so it makes the stability of the rear of the car a little bit tricky. In qualifying, definitely, it's where things get a bit more hairy. Uh, during the race, you're just trying to be as uh, smooth as you can. So this is turn 13. This is the fastest corner of the track. It's uh, definitely not a corner that you try to overtake. It normally becomes a crashing spot, not an overtaking spot for uh, whoever tries to go on the outside. Yeah, turn 16 is a very tricky corner for the drivers. Uh, you come at a very high speed on this long straight into a kinking, twisting, braking area. Very hard to stop the car here into a right, left, very tight corner as well, first gear. Definitely to overtake here is very, very tough because they're really off the line is very dirty here. Last year they have resurfaced this part of the track, so this tarmac was very brand new and uh, grippier than the rest of the track. So you actually believe you have more grip here. Uh, this year, obviously, we have a a one year old tarmac almost, and uh, we have to see how the grip level is going to be, but uh, not particularly bumpy, just very hard to brake when you're trying to turn and brake at the same time. Almost. So we have some fans, local fans. Turn 19 is the last corner of the track. Uh, you can uh, always make a little last minute lunge here. You have to save some, some energy into the very low speed left hander of turn 19. It's not easy, but uh, yeah, it's a very unexpected place for, for someone to try to make a move. So definitely an opportunity on the race. Yeah, we're back on the start finish straight now. This is where I started last year, quite far back. So let's hope that this year we'll be starting much further down the grid and, uh, and have a good race. So let's see what happens in qualifying. See you out there. Last year's race provided us with one of the most exciting events of the season. And we go green in Uruguay, and it's a great start. Look at that from Nelson Piquet Jr. Here's the battle for second place. Massive lockup. Oh, and off goes Sarazan. Oh.